Hey everyone, today I've got this Matchbox Moving Parts Seagrave fire truck. It's about 187 in scale and it's got this extendable ladder which I will show you later on. And the first, there's a couple of versions of this. This is the city of El Segundo livery and it's like a silver with some white stripe over a red painted body with some chrome and although it's a bit small at 187 it's got really nice detailing and overall looks fantastic so I got this vehicle because it's really cool first of all and it is in the background of a couple of the Michael Bay Transformers films uh, Revenge of the Fallen and I've seen it in Dark of the Moon so I can, you know, put them together with my other Transformers mini toys and diecast, and um, get a yeah, get a nice diorama scene going. So yeah, let's take a look at this in detail. If you're interested in Transformers or diecast cars, please do consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you. Those of you who have really, really appreciate it, and hope you enjoy my reviews. Always happy to read the comments especially those who've got similar toys and you're hearing your thoughts about it. Okay, here is the old packaging of the moving parts. I recently did the Bizzarini and that's the new paper one. This is, you know, people don't really like this because it's not really, like say you want to put them in a box and stack them. You've got this extra cardboard and you have to just kind of Tetris things in, but it doesn't always work out. And I prefer the new one where this car is at the bottom. And you know, there's more image space like this. This is really cool, this image. Let me zoom in and show you guys. Really nice image here, especially if you keep your cards, uh, keep your cards carded and you collect them that way. But with more space for an image, it looks even better. So yeah, I'm glad that they've changed it up. So, I mean, look at this massive moving box type parts title. Just not necessary really. Um, yeah. And here's the back, usual stuff here, recyclable, all that sustainability stuff. And here they ask you to put part of the ladder inside. So we'll have a look at that. El Segundo Fire Department and Seagrave. There we go. Let's get this guy open. So inside it comes with this little plastic band that holds it all together. And this is the loose section, which I will now pop in. And I think... No, it's not that side, it's this side. Here we go. Yeah, that's a lot smoother. Ooh, with a bit of force, then it goes in. And then hopefully, with a bit of force, not too much. Hey, there we go, it comes out here. So, that goes quite high actually. All the way there, and that's quite cool. Okay, so here is the front of the vehicle. First thing I notice is it's a bit heavier than normal die casts, which is a good, I like that. And the front, cool tampo work little bit of a scuff which is common nothing abnormal there got these wing mirrors on here which is really good to see this size it's about 187 so if you collect model railways and you want to have a fire truck american this is a good option because it's the right scale so and then coming around to the side all this bottom is in chrome and this section too Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, here we go. So it's all just slotted in here. So on the side, here we go, El Segundo Fire Department, really small badge, and we've got some tampo work here for the steps. And then got another logo here. Truck 32, El Segundo Fire Department. And we've got all kinds of detailing here on the side, Seagrave. What's that, country and services? 
courtesy and service. Oh my gosh, courtesy and service, sorry. So there we go. And here we've got some more detailing and the ladder here. Really fun casting. I mean, I'm not a kid anymore, but the inner child in me loves this to bits. Really cool. And you know, I think I'm not sure what will happen to how kids play time with all these digital screens nowadays becoming more dominant. But you know, to just whiz this around the living room, yeah, as a kid for me anyway, that would have been super fun. But for now, if you follow my Instagram, I love taking photos of these models and capturing their details. So yeah, if you're on Instagram, do give us a follow if you like diecast cars and transformers. Okay, so the other side, very similar here. And it's really clean, this one. I got lucky. Some models, as you know, not so like this somewhere, but quite smooth, really nice. Done very, very well. Now, the windscreen here is very dark. I don't know if there's an interior with seats, but it doesn't look like it. You can see here, there's like a column going right up through there. And you can't see that one. But yep, this moving part goes all the way around. And if you've got 187 firemen figures, that's just perfect. They will fit in this ladder. They can just, you know, you can put them at the top. You can balance a few guys up at the top. And there we go. So, superb. And here we have two little notches where it just goes in to stay there. Nice. Okay, let's give this guy a spin on the turntable, that is. Okay, here we go. Really nice casting. Lots of details. Really cool moving parts for kids to play with. Or for me, like, for photos to create dioramas and scenes. I think it looks fantastic. Another smash from Matchbox. You know, I see a lot of comments saying, damn, Matchbox is like doing amazing. It really is. Like they're, they're making really cool castings. But I think the audience is probably people like my age, like more adults who enjoyed it when they were younger on a playful kind of level. And then now that we're older, we're like, oh yeah, you know, we cherish these a bit more and we kind of collect them more. Right, We don't really play with them, but we still buy them because they remind us of those cool days. Um, you know, and for the audience, like the one I'm just talking about, this is, this is really nice. It's really cool. So, yeah, I hope maybe if there's like a working rigs, which is when Matchbox does bigger scale, or more accurate scales of bigger vehicles like this. This would be awesome to see in the working rigs line, like a real massive fire engine, a bit bigger. So yeah, cool. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know what you think in the comments below and see you in the next video. Take care.